Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a common internal tangent to two unequal circles. We will first draw our horizontal center line which consists of long and short alternating dashes. We will now identify 100 millimeters on this center line. We will now draw vertical center lines at the points we identified on our horizontal center line. We will label these points A and B. We will now open our compass to a radius of 35 millimeters and from A, we will scribe a circle. Next, we will open our compass to a radius of 20 millimeters. And with the center B, we will scribe our second circle. We will label point C and point D. We will now open our compass from point B to point C. Then we will transfer this measurement from point D to give us point E on the AB line. Remember to label point E. Now using A as the center for our compass, we will open our compass to a radius of AE and we will now scribe an arc from E to the left of our larger circle. We will now bisect AB. So open the compass to more than half of AB and scribe intersecting arcs above and below the AB line from point A and from point B. Ensure your arcs intersect each other. We will now draw a line through the intersection of both set of arcs we just drew. This line intersected our AB line giving us point O. We will now open our compass from O to A 
our O to B and we will draw a semicircle. The semicircle intersected our arc, giving us point F. We will now draw a line from F to A. Point G is now the intersection of the circle and the line we just drew, labeled point G. We will now use two set squares to draw parallel lines. Place a set square along line AG, then place another set square under our first set square. Now slide your first set square until it reaches point B, then draw a line from point B to give you point H. Always remember to put one set square along the first line, which is AG in this case, and always hold the lower set square steady. Slide only the top set square to get this parallel line BH. Now label point H. We will now draw a line through G and H to give us IJ. IJ is our required tangent. Label point I and label point J. Now here we have two unequal circles, one of radius 35 and the other of radius 20 millimeters. Now this internal tangent falls on the inside of both circles. Remember to outline your required tangent. I will now border my paper and complete my title block. 